Hello, I'm Laura Fox and I work at the Wildlife Information Service at the Cornwall Wildlife Trust. Now, if you're like me, you may have been paying attention to the Penwith Landscape Partnership's Garden Biofits last weekend, and you might have been inspired to do your own. Uh, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, now, Bioblitz is usually an all-day affair, um, tends to be uh, 24 hours, um, but a garden Bioblitz can be as long as you like. Um, for most gardens, um, an hour is more than enough. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, so, a few rules to start off with. Um, we can only record things that are in the garden. So, for example, if I see a bird in next door's garden, that doesn't count. But if it flies over the garden, that's all right. Um, next, um, it's got to be things that came here on their own steam. For example, um, this camellia bush, I can't count that. But uh, the pendulous sedge, although it may have been planted at somewhere in the garden at some point in the past, it spread to other places, so I can count that. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Um, next, you need to know that you've got your identification correct. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to know the exact species. That's important because lots of things cannot necessarily be identified at species level um, without microscopic examination. Things like um, certain groups of flies, beetles, or spiders, or that sort of thing. Um, so that's fine. If you don't know the exact species, you can record it at genus, family, or whatever, whatever higher classification you like. Um, and the last thing is, all the records got to go to Urcus. So I'm going to be recording these via orcs. Um, I could do it by the Orcs app, but I'm going to be using the website this time because I've got a form that allows you to submit many species on the same date in the same place. So that's ideal for the violets. All right, let's get started. All right, so um, we can begin with some nice, easy plants. Um, I say easy because they're nice and obvious, they don't move around. So we've got the Herb Robert down here, for example. Nice and easy. We've got this uh, cranes bill, I think that's um, French cranes bill, but I'll have to check that. You can see the dandelion leaves here. There's the Rickwork plantain. This is a nice and easy one, silverweed. You can see why it's called that. Then we've got uh, last year's, or last spring's, um, primrose leaves still there, so we can count those. I don't know if you can hear it, but the Escalonia is absolutely buzzing with honeybees right now. I don't know why they like it so much. Look closer and you'll see why. The honeybees can't fit into the long tubular flowers of the Escalonia, but they can make little holes in the base of the flowers to access the nectaries. This is called nectar robbery. It's no good for the flower, but the honeybees get a nice juicy reward. Was a surprise. Um, we've got a garden bumblebee here, seems to inve be investigating um, the bee hotel that I put in the spring. I don't expect it's going to take an interest. In fact, I don't think it's a queen, I think it's a worker, so it shouldn't do at all. But um, yeah. <laughs> nice to see a bee on it at least. <laughs> Well, um, some spiders have got very distinctive webs and it's actually possible to tell roughly what sort of species it is just by looking at the web. So this one up here is your classic lace web. Look how, look at all that lovely white lacy stuff. And this is a running crab spider. There's several species and they're usually quite difficult to tell apart. But in this species, the male is distinctively different. There's 
loads of aphids on this tuxen here. There are black garden ants here too. Look as if they're milking the aphids. Not literally milking, of course. They're after the sweet, sticky substance that the aphids exude. Now, aphids are pretty daunting species to try and identify, but uh, a lot of them are very host specific. So if you know what plant they're on, that's half the battle. Okay, so hours up and the total is 55. So, um, think you can do better? Why not give it a try and let us know how you get on.